Okay, go ahead. All right, well, welcome to our February 1st meeting. Uh, our first, I'll say, official meeting of 2024. Um, Mr. Derrick is doing the roll call. Yes. Um, with the approval of the members of the committee, I would like to reach out to James if he didn't attend today and have a conversation with him, see if he he's still. Hey, he's getting on. He's getting on. Oh, good, 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 good. Yes, no, yes, yes. I know his schedule has been uh, pretty bad here in the last, I don't know, six months of the year for attending meetings. So. And we got Rick coming. Good. It's even better. So Mr. Derek will handle the roll call. Uh, the minutes for December, I believe, December 7th. You have a copy of the minutes. Uh, please review. This is Karen. I make a motion we approve as submitted. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as submitted. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, we tried to meet in January, couldn't get a quorum. So anyway, we have some, I'll say first of the year type of business we'll have to do. Um, further down in the agenda or coming up here pretty close, but first, do we have any old business? All right, moving down to new business then. Uh, election of chair and vice chair. So each year we have to elect the chair and the vice chair. Uh, the current member uh, chair is myself, Kelly, and the current vice chair is Stephen. I make a motion we leave both as they are. I second that motion. <laughs> we have a motion on the floor to leave the uh, chairperson and vice chair as is. Uh, Kelly and Stephen uh, in the same duties they had last year. Do we have any other nominations? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Morning, James. Well, Morning. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Um, it's uh, I can only do my job as good as I can because of you guys. So I appreciate all your effort, all your time you put in throughout the year. Uh, I really appreciate it. So I need to continue on. Um, you have a copy of the mission statement, I believe. Yes. You take a few minutes to read over what we approved last year and see if we need to amend or approve as presented. Yeah, the only thing I've done is just make sure the date's right at the bottom. Yeah, February 1st, 2024. Unless someone has something they want to change, add, or delete, I make a motion we approve the mission statement as presented. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second to present or uh, to approve the mission statement, the 2024 mission statement as presented. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, moving down to stipend approval. Um, 
which is confusing to me or never really did understand this process. But um, if you do receive a stipend, if you do receive travel pay to attend meetings, SPAC meetings, uh, we cannot reimburse more than the state current, um, the current state rate at the time of the request. So, hey, hey, Kelly, I, I'd like to add something to that. I found a little information out about this stipend approval okay. for us. Right. Uh, the codified language uh, for our stipend authorization uh, says each of the following state boards, uh, committees, et cetera, uh, by a majority vote of the total membership of the board cast during its first regularly scheduled meeting of each calendar year may authorize payment to its members of a stipend not to exceed $60 per day for each meeting, et cetera. So basically what we're doing here is we're authorizing you as a committee uh, are voting to authorize, uh, you know, that this committee can receive this stipend. And that uh, would be a, a cash payment. Well, I mean, but, yeah, your, your $60 that you would get or, uh, you know, for your meeting uh, and then your reimbursement for travel. Uh, y'all are basically just approving uh, that y'all will allow the committee to receive this. Okay. At, at current state rate. Yes. Yeah. The current state rate, it's gone up from last year. Uh, as far as the was, mileage goes, I do think it did go up a little bit, I think. I can't remember for sure. And I, I have heard that they're also going to be looking at that again this year. Uh, at some point, and it could be, you know, could be modified throughout the year here. I believe mileage is at 52 cents a mile. Okay. okay. We're going up from six, from, from $50 to $60 a day, right? Wasn't it $50 last year? I think. I, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm yes. not sure what it was. Yes, it, it it was it was Mr. Ron. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Good so at least at raise. least finding that, I feel like we have a little bit of clarification on why y'all do what y'all do there. Uh, you're yes. just basically making the uh, approval that you're going to allow your members to receive it, if yes. they so wish. If they so wish. Usually on some of the other committees, there's a form. Yes, I want to receive the stipend. No, I do not want the, the stipend. So you may need to use that form. Uh, I know if you do receive the stipend, the, the payment, you have to give your bank account. Uh, you might have to do, a, what is it, a 1099? Mm -hmm. uh, there's about four documents you got to fill out to receive the, the stipend. Correct. But if you're just if you're just getting re reimbursed for travel, uh, then that process is is a little simpler, I think. So, all right, hearing the information uh, that Derek provided, uh, what's your pleasure? We accept we accept the new amount. I'll make that appointment. Uh, uh, Basically, here we need a motion uh, on the floor uh, for the committee to uh, be able uh, that y'all agree that your committee can receive the stipend, your committee members at the state rate. I'll make that motion. Second. All right. We have a, a motion on the floor to um, let our members uh, receive the 2024 stipend at state rate. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any aye. opposed? All right, motion carries. Uh, moving on down to uh, discuss in person meetings. Um, what we decided, I guess, last month in the AACSC. Uh, we're going to meet uh, in person a minimum of four times a year, uh, March, June, September, and December. 
So next month, the AACSC will meet at the office of OSD uh, down on the river. So we have discussed that in here. Um, if this, my preference, if we're considering this, um, I, I would like it to mirror what the AACSC does just because of scheduling conflicts and stuff. Um, wouldn't be as bad for me. Um, and being Little Rock, you know, at least that whole day and everything, and I could do both meetings at OSD or wherever we decide to have the meeting. Not to say every meeting will be there, but the March meeting will be at OSD. So open for discussion. Well, me personally, and I know with Stephen being where he's at and the drive that he's going to have, you know, I know you've got to do it with the ASA, AACSC. But me personally, I don't mind meeting in December. Uh, I think James made a very valid point why we should meet in person in December. Absolutely. Uh, but, um, and, you know, we could do like a little Christmas, whatever. But now me personally, meeting in person March, you know, it's a very, very small committee, what we work on. You know, it, it's pretty cut and dry. We can review. Um, I mean, if y'all want to meet four times, you know, I'm open. I'm not saying I wouldn't attend, but with my schedule and, and where everybody's at and with the jobs people are doing right now, um, I put my hat in the ring to meet in person once a year in December. And Derek, correct me, the AACSC meetings, the four times a year, are going to be a hybrid meeting, correct? Yes, we are going to uh, we are going to have it available. If anybody cannot make it, they can still zoom in. Yes. So if if we went that route, you'd still have the same route you have today, or option you had today. You could log in. So I I mean, if we decide not to, uh, I'll be at. OS, OSD in March and um, that morning uh, to chair this committee. So that's where I will chair it from, uh, from either the conference room or a room they can give me before I can get onto my laptop. So, um, but that option will be open. So you could still zoom in if you wanted to. Yeah, as far as on my situation, I mean, you know, it's whatever Yens would like to do. Uh, I'm I'm supposed to finish up here in May uh, and be out of here. So, but now if I go to Salt Lake City, Utah from there or <laughs> Fargo, North Dakota, I don't know. So, uh, or if I end up going to Shreveport, you know, so... You know, which uh, you know, I'm 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 good with whatever Yuns would like to do. So, because I I can, and the company already knows. So, what I would end up doing, not necessarily maybe if you done four four times a year, but I would actually fly in, or they'll fly me in for you know probably you know one or two of them anyway. So. Yeah, and like I said, it, it you'll have the same option you have today. I mean, right, right, right. Back to the meeting or uh, attend in person. So yeah. we could leave, you know, so, option. So, so yeah. So I don't, you know, I don't, I don't want anything pertaining to my job position to affect anything that that everybody would like to do or the majority would like to do. So, okay. Any other thoughts, comments? So, it sounds like we want to try to maybe leave it as is for now. And uh, if we decide later in the year or whatever to um, have a meeting maybe in December in person we could uh, do that then maybe in the fall or something we could announce that 
Is that what I'm hearing? It didn't really make a lot of difference to me, but I'll do whatever. I understand. We need a motion. Uh, yeah, uh, and Miss uh, Karen, I mean, if, if her motion would, or if she wanted to put that into a motion, maybe we just need to resolve it now and uh, have our December meeting, maybe uh, a hybrid meeting. Uh, you can either attend by in person or online. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Okay, that way we can get it resolved today. Not to say we can't change it later, but we'll mm -hmm. get it resolved today. All right, any other discussion? So right now we're looking at meeting one time uh, per calendar year, um, and that meeting would be in December, and it would be a hybrid meeting either in person or on Zoom. So what we're using Zoom, yeah, okay. All right, any, any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, Mr. Derek, try to book that one. Got it. All right, sounds great. Yeah, I actually have uh, one of our AACSC members coming in today. So uh, be attending the meeting here with me in person. Oh, okay. So, all right. Well, me. All right. Moving down, we're getting, well, we'll pick this up later. Uh, experience credit. Andrew Disher room. You don't usually see that room or that name. Uh, there's a family in Farmington. Their kids played quite a, all their kids played basketball. And I remember, I re remember that name. Well, and this kid lives in Farmington. So, okay. Derek, I, I meant to send you an email earlier. I just got tied up. Is their <laughs> local committee not recommending anything? They don't have a local committee. Was well, Kimball, then I'm assuming Kimball is recommending this since they filled it out? Yes, that, it'd be Beth Barclay. Okay. Yeah. I, just yeah, I had checked and they do not have a committee. Now, Don, I know, has recommended to them that it would be a very good idea to do that. Uh, but. Uh, well, since they're an internal, I mean. Mm -hmm. Employer. All right. So looking at doc documentation, it's documentation that we've seen over the last several years from Kimball uh, working out of state. Uh, pretty much, um, but in this case, um, this person was registered in Colorado. Looks like maybe a apprentice license. Uh, original license was, was made the uh, 31st of 2023. Uh, you, sometimes we don't see this from Kimball of actually them getting some type of license, but probably forced through through the state of Colorado. And they're looking at six months and that's basically based on a May, a May to December uh, on the job training uh, hours that they put in. If I'm looking at it correctly. Make a motion to approve. Second. second. We have a motion in a second <coughs> uh, to approve uh, the six months credit that is requested. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we have any other pending credits, uh, experience credits, Derek? 
Uh, no, I don't don't have any. Uh, don't have any that we're messing with right now. Yeah, I think we're caught up. I believe. <clears throat> I think anyway. Okay. Yeah, we haven't had any that we're waiting on information from because y'all had denied it. So. Yep. Okay. We'll move on down to reports, uh, Mr. Rick. Morning. How are y'all doing? Uh, good morning. We're doing good. Hey. I've got the uh, license count for apprentices currently as of the uh, day before yesterday, 1,579. Journeyman plumbers, 1,697. And master plumbers, 2,289. And apprentice counts came up some, hadn't it, Rick? Well, it has, and, and uh, we've been getting a lot of applications in lately, so uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's looking better. Yeah, almost getting to a one-to-one -one ratio there on our journeymen and apprentices for the state. As far as the exam scores for this last uh, exam, we should have those out to you first of the week at the latest. We had a lot of uh, uh, people in. We had 120 mm -hmm. tested. <coughs> so if there's no other questions, I'm going yeah, to- I just let... have one in general, and this, this came from a contractor. He wanted to know if there if if there was any possible and I know I called Kelly when the contractor called me. Uh, he said years ago there was a discussion about starting up a testing option in Northwest Arkansas. Is that something that's even been remotely discussed? Is it a cost factor? The reason we don't do it, or just something y'all don't want to do? He asked me to ask the question, so that, that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, because with them, they do have to come down, you know, take a whole day off plus hotel and all that. And <clears throat> they were just trying to figure out a way if there was something, because the contractor themselves said, you know, if you was needing help or whatever, they would step up. So I'm just putting it out there. Well, I'll uh, keep that in mind. Uh, uh, hey, Karen. You know, we're I'm sorry. I also had that at a visit when I was up in Northwest Arkansas. One of the instructors at uh, WAP had actually asked that same question. So I just wanted to uh, let you know that also. Yeah, it's coming from that that whole group of contractors up there, you know, because there is there's a massive number of apprentices, you know, in that whole little Northwest quadrant, um, you know, in that area. And, and I understand it's a burden and, you know, they're just asking the question. I said, I told him, I said, dude, you don't never know to you ask. So I will ask well, her. Tell him, tell him, uh, we'll, we'll think about it. It's, uh, uh, right now we don't even have an inspector in that area. Uh, Marty's temporarily out, uh, you know, on extended <clears throat> leave. And so, yeah, I'm doing everything I can just cover the area but yeah we could probably come up with something uh uh it, it, it's just going to take some thought and uh and i have to get a few other things off our plate to, to do it but we'll look into it well when it becomes you know make him put his money where his mouth is uh because just this one company alone has enough masters and journeymen you know whether it's helping with proctoring helping finding a location you know, so when you get to the point that <laughs> the location might be an issue that I take them up on. So, okay. And there are several schools up there. Uh, you know, Farmington's got a school, ASEP meets, there's uh, NWAC, there's NTI. We've got a Farmington location. So you should have plenty of different uh, locations to choose from. It doesn't cost you a penny of money. All right. I'll keep that in mind too. All right, everyone, I appreciate it. Uh, Y'all have a good day, and I'm going to take off. Have a good one, Rick. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Rick. Uh, USDOL.
I don't believe they're on. Is that correct? Correct. Right. I'll reach out to uh, Troy Johnson and see if this is, you know, something he would be able to attend. Uh, okay. ho hopefully, once we finally get our new representative put in place, and we can kind of get back on that schedule. Yep. Yep. Do you not think Troy will end up being the Arkansas rep? I have, I have no idea. I, you know, you know, Kelly, I, I didn't really sound like uh, Dudley was really alluded to that being a possibility in our last AACSE meeting. He acted they had, like they were in the process of hiring and just. Yeah you know, going to have to go through the process. Yeah, I was going to say, they, he mentioned the fact they had the hiring process going in place, and it'd be a couple of months before all that process went through. Hey, real quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know, I looked at the dashboard, and it looks like there's, uh, according to the dashboard, the DOL dashboard for Arkansas, there is, shows 2,055 apprentices in Arkansas for plumbing. I thought that was interesting. Yes. You have to keep in mind everybody that is in the process of testing out, being released for tests and all that, they won't that they now will not allow them to renew their license. They have to show up and take that test. So they're they're you're gonna have a couple hundred in there floating around easily. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they've decided to do to kind of get their records cleaned up. All right, um, OSD reports. <clears throat> All right, um, guys, uh, as I kind of uh, alluded to in January, I have five programs that have uh, have been using the database since about the first week of January. Um, had a, a little issue with one figuring out Excel, but after we got that figured out, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we uh, we. Uh, hadn't really had any issues uh we've made you know with some of the stuff that they have seen and we've noticed since they've had it we made a few adjustments here and there uh just to kind of make it look work a little bit better for you know the program itself on how they would want to use it uh so uh so it's it's really going good so far so um they're really not i don't really haven't heard uh, except for a few things here and there i hadn't really heard much from them at all about having any issues with it uh, so, uh, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, so, and they, they all seem to really like having all that information at their fingertips, even the past stuff that they wouldn't be required to keep from USDO by USDOL regulations anymore, that five-year mark. So, uh, so they, the ones we got are really, really enjoying it. I figure probably, uh, probably give them one more week and then I'm going to roll out another five. Uh, and then after that, uh, we'll probably look at maybe every two weeks uh, doing that as we, we go forward. So uh, so that's been going good. Uh, of course, hey, you know, you know, that's that's five programs. Me and Don aren't having to go and put in all the forms and update everything all the time. So it, it has gave us a little bit of time uh, just to, you know, be able to do what were our, our other functions that we need to be doing. So. Uh, see, uh, I know our meeting today uh, with AACSC, uh, after today, uh, you know, basically we will have no funds left uh, for our CT fund. Uh, they will be exhausted. So, uh, you know, a lot of that is due to uh, programs that in the past might hang on till the very end of the year. They've all been submitting information quicker this time around. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have had some, uh, I know we've had some programs that have submitted that haven't in the past. Uh, so, so it's, it's been, been good there. I feel like the, the funds really been used appropriately so far this year, as far as getting, getting everybody what they needed. So, uh, so we'll kind of discuss that in the meeting today and see, cause technically, uh, we are, uh, over budget with what we have, uh, to look at today. Um, but uh, I've been uh, given some leeway there, and we'll discuss that in the meeting today. Uh, mm -hmm. Other than that, um, I think that's about it. I don't really have anything else. How many, have any of questions? The programs, how many of the programs ended up switching over to modern plumbing? Because I know that's a major 
You're going to be at huge cost this year. Next right. year, your CT should your uses of CT is going to not be anywhere close next year. Right, because we had you know those programs were allowed to get plumbing code books for first and second year. Uh, yeah. So you know we bought some more code books that way this year. Uh, so that's a big change. I I, I got to get with get back on you with that on that Karen. Uh, I hadn't I'd started doing that last year and I and I hadn't hadn't got through it. So I need to go through that and I'll give send y'all out an email update or something. Just kind I of know you know just to kind of give you a prime example. You mm -hmm. know typically in ATF we have to purchase textbooks. You know for first year, second year, third year, and fourth year. And then we turn around and have to buy code books just, you know, for, for whoever, mm -hmm. but we get reimbursed for second year. Well, we did all that this year. Well, mm -hmm. next year, only person I have to buy a textbook for is mm -hmm. brand new guys that have walked in the door. That's it. So, you know, that's just us, you mm -hmm. know, we've got a crap load of plumbers. Yes. Yes. Um, and I know exactly. Kelly's program the same, same way. So, right. yeah. I think overall, you know, that switch and y'all bringing up that modern plumbing, which, you know, haven't heard anybody say they don't like it. Uh, you know, we've seen quite a few programs I know have switched to it. Uh, and that will definitely help out our CT fund going into next year. Uh, not having, uh, you know, being able to buy the book once. But uh, God, I know it's going to help us. I am so sick of being a book shipping company. Right. Oh, have mercy. Look at James laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, but yes, I I will get that because I I've been wanting to been been wanting to do that myself. Just kind of have that list broke down so we know who all has switched over. Real quickly, weather permitting, I'll be getting back out and doing class visits again, starting February. I didn't do any this month, uh, just due to weather and various different things. And uh, but I'll be getting back out there, and hopefully I'll be seeing some some of your classes. Yeah. All right. Any any other old business, new business? Uh, just a reminder: our next scheduled meeting uh, is March the seventh. And go ahead and make uh, mark your calendar, Mister uh, James, for December's meeting. So, yes. <laughs> Um, so, well, I appreciate everybody's time. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second, third, fourth. All right. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Derek, can you yeah. send me the mission statement for I will. AACSC? Uh, and I'll get you that experience credit too. I'll send you both of them. Uh, I've got, you I've got, got it. printing. Oh. Okay. So I have it. Um, you should have the mission statement from this meeting right here. I just sent it. Okay. Um, so I think I need the mission statement for the AACSC, what we approved last, last month, and I'll go ahead and sign it and send it your way.